I'm having fun here. I'm getting my cameras all organized. I'm trying to do a, maybe a little bit less of an extreme camera shot for you guys on Facebook. Well, hi, guys. Hello. This is uh, – we're doing a uh, You Can Draw in 30 Days live version here. I'm messing around with my cameras. I still – I have a new camera to turn on for, for you, Facebook, and I haven't done it yet. Hi, Instagram. Thank you guys on Instagram for uh, uh, the easiest way for me to log on at noon and 8 p.m. is to use my cell phone for Instagram. So how I hope it looks OK. Sorry, it bounced around. I got these wonderful clamps that I can use to clamp. <laughs> but today we're going to draw this owl. I had so much fun in our art academy today. So what I do, what I this is my second week of doing it is I'm trying to do uh, the schedule of my two classes on in, on the Fine Arts Academy in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning and 11 o'clock. And then I follow up with doing a little noon special with you guys. I also, uh, for my Fine Arts Academy, I do a lesson at night at 6.30, 7.30 p.m. Now, if so, now I had an interesting uh, question today about the Fine Arts Academy on the email. Someone wants to sign their children up, but they're during the day, they are in remote learning, but so they're wondering if I do an after school program. And I told her, as soon as I get, uh, as soon as I get a family that wants to sign that signs up for for that time slot, I will open another time slot from four to five o'clock in the, the, the central time. So if you're out there and you're listening, and you're thinking about uh, getting your kids signed up for drawing with me. You can come uh, 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock p.m. Central Time, or you can come to all my daytime programs, too, if you want. I do one at 10 o'clock Central Time, one at 11 o'clock Central Time, a drawing class for an hour, well, 50 minutes. And then uh, one. I'm thinking about doing one at 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock Central Time after school special. And then every night, I'm already committed to doing 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. Uh, for our family art nights okay so let me show you what we did today for our fine arts academy this was our uh i think this was our first lesson so i gotta write that down. this was 10 a.m that was our time that was our 10 a.m class we did the flying owl and i'm thinking about drawing this owl right now with you guys i like to take one lesson one drawing and draw it at noon with the whole world and here we did this flying owl and i'm working on this wing right here i wasn't quite happy this was from a photograph and it was a neat distorted view uh, but I think I needed to pull that, pull this wing forward. I, I, so I'm working on that. But see, the whole point here, even I have to give myself the lights to flop live. Look at I'm drawing live, and sometimes I I flop big time. Like this wing, this wing is not doesn't look quite right. So I want to I'm going to redraw it. I'm going to work on this wing. But look at that. It was a good lesson giving the kids and the, the adults and the grandparents that are drawing with me permission to fail no stress you guys stress is on the bus okay no stress <laughs> now <clears throat> so this is what we did in our uh, 11 o'clock class and then tonight i'm going to do another one uh i'm not sure if we're going to do owls tonight but we'll see but i know i'm going to do an owl with you guys right now do you guys want to draw an owl with me and i have an exciting announcement i have an exciting announcement i've got a couple tomorrow is my birthday Woo! It's my birthday tomorrow. I'm, are you guys? Uh, uh, I know you just thrilled, tickled pink. And right during the hurricane, we have a hurricane coming, bearing down on us. So if I lose power tomorrow, I'll try to go with my generator power to webcast. But if we lose power, uh, my, uh, you know, hang in there with me and I'll skip a day if I can't get on. Be sure to get my book. You can draw in 30 days, you guys. Okay, this this is a series celebrating my You Can Draw in 30 Days. Uh, this is our second week of my 30-day challenge. Draw one drawing every day, okay? Let's draw this owl. Let's draw this owl guy. I'm going to start with the owl's face. You can put him at an angle if you want. Then I'm going to draw the owl's body. I'm going to just block in the shapes, block it in, block it. I'm going to draw the feathered owl. It's going to be really cool. Now, hey, Rebecca, how are you? Good to see you. Hi, John, Kim. How are you guys doing here? Hello, uh, Michael and Frank. Hello, Antolio. Hello, Anxious. Hello, Josh White. It's so good to see you guys joining me today. Sorry I missed last night at 8 p.m. 
I, I was going to draw last night, but I was, ah, I was so, uh, I, I don't, well, I guess I was depressed or, um, uh, just really low energy. And I was just my, uh, I was, uh, with my son prepping, prepping our yards with all the uh, yard furniture and stuff for trash cans for the hurricane. <clears throat> and I just didn't have the energy to do last to draw last night. And I knew I should have drawn last night because that would have made me feel better. I always 100 percent of the time, just like when I exercise, I never want to exercise. But when I do exercise, I always feel better. And when I'm, uh, you know, during this time of covid, I tell you, I have oops, I made it too dark. I'm sorry about that. Um, you know, I bet you guys have say you have some you have good days and you have hard days, right? Well, yesterday was a hard day. Now today, I'm having a good day. You don't know why? Because tomorrow's my birthday. Woo! Actually, I'll tell you why today is a good day. I woke up and I had two new student families sign up for my art academy, and that made me so happy. We have almost 20 families now sign up for it. We have almost and for the first 20 families, it's 75 percent off. You guys. We almost have the 20 families going here. You know what? I'm probably going to change that because it's just it's such a great value. I want to extend that. I, I think I'll make it to the first 50 families. So the first 50 families that sign up for my Art Academy can get it for 75% off. And it's, it's just such a fun, wonderful time to draw with me. I'm going to draw this wing. See what I'm doing? I'm going to draw. We're going to draw this really cool. Uh, owl here. We're probably going to go over a little bit because instead of it being a 20 minute drawing, it'd probably be longer because I missed last night at 8 p.m. and I want to make up for lost time. Trying to do it every day at noon and 8 p.m. to get you guys to draw one drawing, at least to get you to draw one, maybe two drawings a day. All right, so we're going to draw these wings. See, it just starts with scribbling and sketching. We're sketching the shapes. And I went on, uh, and here, I went on my phone, and I got some great, look at this. Look at this photograph. Look at these photographs I got for these owls. Look at this. Look at that owl here. Isn't that a great owl? I got some great photographs. And sometimes I love drawing. Look at this. Look at this drawing, the horned owl. Isn't that cool? Look at that face. Oh, my goodness. These are great shapes. And then here's uh. Look at this this owl flying down here. So I, I'll, I'll type in the theme of the drawing, and then I'll see on my photographs on the smartphone or tablet or laptop, I'll see the images and the real-world photographs and also other people's interpretations of it, and then I'll do a sketch. So now Bev Statton said in the text box on YouTube, I'm on lesson nine of your 30 day challenge and I'm loving it. Relaxes me. Well, that's wonderful. That's great. And happy birthdays. You're near Pearland and the lower the hurricanes coming tonight in Pearland. You guys are closer than me. Uh, bless you. Stay safe. Stay, you know, inside. Um, now for my birthday, you guys. Here, instead of sending me lots of gifts, because I know you guys want to send me lots and lots of super cool special gifts, go to my my son's GoFundMe page and and uh, you know toss in twenty bucks to him or a hundred. <laughs> he's 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 worked so hard. He's raised over five thousand dollars. We're buying his trailer. We were supposed to get it picked up tomorrow, but it's the hurricane day, and so the trailer's already telling us it'll be next week. But he earned his own trailer for his lawn equipment. He's my special abilities guy. Go to his GoFundMe page, Mighty Mario's Dream. And uh, if this is in, in my uh, celebrating my 57th, I'm st we're still trying to figure out how old I am. All right. I think it's 57 or 58. I don't know. I got to do the math. I think, I think I'm turning 58, but my friends are saying it's 57. So goodness gracious. I can't believe it. I don't even know how old I am. Um, but <clears throat> here's the, uh, GoFundMe. Instead of giving me lots and lots of gifts, but send lots of money to my son, Mario. He, he's working so hard. He wants to buy a zero turn lawnmower to put in his trailer that we're picking up. And the lawnmower is like the cost almost as much as his trailer, but he's, he's been wanting it for three years. So it's GoFundMe, Mighty Mario's dream. Thank you for the birthday gift. Thank you guys for the birthday wishes. I'm so excited. I love birthdays. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw a big birthday cake here, and we're gonna. You gotta. We gonna, we're, let's do that tomorrow at noon. Will you guys join me? We'll draw a big birthday cake, and we can all 
and enjoy a birthday cake right in the middle of the hurricane. Now, if if I still have power, which you know, I'm optimistic. I had power all through Harvey, <clears throat> and also with uh, Katrina, we had power. Believe it or not. <clears throat> all right, so let's um, let's draw the. I'm going to draw the owls, the eyebrow, the the horns of the eye. I'm going to zoom this in again so you can see it. You guys, is anybody drawing with me? Is anybody drawing with me out there? Hello, world. Is anybody drawing with me out there in the world? Let me see here. Let's see. Do we have anybody on Instagram drawing? We have a lot of people here waving to me. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. I wonder if anybody's drawing with me. John, are you drawing with me? <clears throat> I'm going to put the rows of the feathers here on this guy. Sketching the rows of feathers. I'm going to zoom this in a little bit tighter so you guys can see it. And I'll focus it and see if that helps. Does that help focus it a little bit? I'm trying to see if I could. I have a new camera. I'm going to install it. I promise this one. Boy, the YouTube camera looks just wonderful. Uh, Facebook tomorrow or tonight. Hope I'm going to have. You know what? I'm going to. I, I am going to hook that up next. I'm going to. The next thing I do on my to do list is to get that hooked up here let's draw the let's draw the uh eyes all right now let's take this and let's it's uh there's there's our little eyes looking good you guys then let's draw the the feather the horns right the feathers and i'm gonna have them going behind the eye see that do you love it? Is it looking cool, you guys? All right. This is great. Love it, love it, love it. Richard's drawing with me. Woo! Thank you, Richard Alvin Blanchard. I got one person drawing with me out there in the world between Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. We're simulcasting. And uh, let's see. I wonder how many viewers we have going here on each one of you guys. Um, uh, oh, look at we have We got 10 right now on Facebook, and we have... 11 on YouTube, and we have 150. No, we have like a handful on Instagram. So great to see you guys. Thank you. You know what's fun is within a, within a couple, like 24 hours, I always have a couple hundred of you artists draw, drawing with these recordings. So that's great. It means that you guys are taking my challenge up. 30 days. Draw. draw. You can draw in 30 days. Try to make 30 days of drawing. Let's go 30 days, and then we'll turn it into 60, and then we'll just draw every day for a whole year. All right? I like our little owl guy shaping in here. I love this eraser. This eraser is oh, so cool. I just got it. Tombow Mono Zero. I love this thing. I love this thing. You just get in there, and it's it doesn't lose its shape. Oh, boy, it's a wonderful eraser. I always I have an eraser and my pencil and my dusting brush. And I always re recommend you get yourself a sketchbook to keep all your drawings. Uh, get yourself a sketchbook with a nice, solid uh, back to it, all right? So you can draw anywhere, all right? So I'm going to draw these. Now, the first row of feathers, first row of feathers is a little bit smaller. So I'm going to draw the, the arch of the wing. It's going to come down a little S-curve here. See that? I'm going to put the first row of feathers following my guideline. That's a contour line. That's a line that's curving to give it shape and volume. <clears throat> now, remember, this is this was just one drawing of about seven different drawings we did this morning, the course of our two hours of our art academy. And I really, really hope you guys sign up for my art academy. It's wonderful. There's a 75% discount right now grunting if you guys want to join it. Also, if you guys want to get these charts that – that will help you draw in 3D. These words that we're using to draw this three-dimensional owl, my 12 Renaissance word chart, my drawing compass, these are available for free along with two really cool journal eBooks, intermediate level and beginning level, advanced level uh, at draw3d.com. Go to draw3d.com, go to uh, downloads, print up the free stuff. Feel free to sign up for this one. Um, Sign up for my art academy. Of course, of course, of course. While you're online, buy 10 copies of my book. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Woo. I'm 57 or 58. I don't know. I don't know. Doing the math here. I'm going to, I'll get my mathematician's smart team working on it to help me figure it out. And that is that 
funny. I can't, I don't even know how old I am. Hey, John Kim, thank you. The, the owl, the owl, he likes the owl drawing. Now, the bottom wings are bigger, guys, the bottom feathers. I mean, the bottom feathers are longer. Bottom feathers are longer. Just enjoy it. Relax. doesn't have to be perfect. Just sketch them in. Sketch them in. And then the, the body. Now, watch this. On the, I'm going to darken in the beak. It's kind of like a Harry Potter owl right here, but I'm going to curve these contours. See this? Curve these lines a lot. Curve, curve, curve. Curve these lines. I'm going to let me see if I can move this. There we go. Boy, I sure love that new camera I'm using on YouTube. Woo! And Facebook, you guys are being patient. I'm going to install my new camera I have sitting over there on the counter tomorrow, tonight, today, next hour. How's that? I'm making a commitment. It's been sitting there now for uh, three days, and I've been threatening to get it switched over. All right. Thanks for your participation in my daily drawing challenge. Daily drawing. I got some exciting news starting next week. So if you're thinking about signing up for the Art Academy, you guys, now's the time to do it because we just updated my website with all the information. Starting next Wednesday, we have this amazing teacher, Lauren Turner, is going to be teaching. Uh, it's called Space. It's a space theme uh, lesson, and she's going to be painting planets and stars and galaxies. And she's doing her art class Wednesdays at four o'clock on my Zoom and my Art Academy. And then Thursdays, on Thursdays, we have Emily Albright at 1 p.m. She's going to be teaching. Um, oh, it's so exciting. She's going to be teaching pop-up art, folding art, painting, mixed media. Thomas Cleveland, the founder of uh, Artists Within, he's an artist with the U.S. Mint. And he does incredible intricate ink drawings. He's going to be teaching the kids multimedia and ink. And Gordon is going to be coming on in, in uh, September. She's, she does wonderful acrylic and watercolor painting with the kids. Brandon Ray is a very famous award-winning paper animator, paper artist. He's going to be doing a family special uh, talking about animation, paper animation. Joel Gorey, he's my guest artist on The Secret City. I don't know if you remember that old show. He was Zebtron on my show, The Secret City. And Joel's going to be joining me as one of my uh, featured artists each month. He's going to be doing a theater drama workshop with the family. Uh, Jamie Hazelwood <clears throat> is an incredibly talented uh, claymation artist and uh, teacher. He's going to be teaching the kids how to do claymation. You can go to the website and see some samples of the uh, claymation these kids have done. Ryan Shaw, he's a local artist, good friend of mine. He does amazing cartoons with the kids called Cartoon University. <clears throat> and Ed Heck, look at all these artists we have joining us. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ed Heck is a New York City pop artist, pop culture artist. He's known around the world. He's going to be talking about to help inspiring the kids to color, draw and illustrate and color their own children's books. And... Uh, my dear good friends, Patricia and Jack Moore, are NASA artists and NASA educators. Um, they're my co-host for my our collaborative series with NASA when we do the Draw Artemis series. Um, they're going to be doing family workshops with my art academy. And I'm just so pleased that they're joining me. So we got lots, so many, so many amazing, talented uh, artists to join us. In our in our group, and I'm just boy, I'm just tickled pink, tickled pink that we have all these artists. Doesn't that sound cool, you guys? Isn't that cool? I think one of the one of the uh, one of the uh, I don't know, say gifts or the talents or skills, something that I've been uh, been able been gifted with is the ability uh, to surround myself with people who are amazingly talented and brilliant. I, and I just have enjoyed doing that my whole life of just pulling together this coalition of geniuses. And here's another example of this wonderful uh, opportunity to, for me to pull together these, these great people, genius people, good hearted, good souls, my creative tribe, and to share their passion with you and you, your pet, you and with your, your kids. So I'm just, you can tell I'm very, very uh, passionate about visual arts and performing arts. We're going to have theater. We're going to have drama. We're going to have mime. We're going to have music. We're going to have dance. This art academy is really, really building. We're really building it. 
uh, my goal is I want to have 500 families in in the uh, art academy here in the next month or two. Right now, we have about I think we have about 18 families, so we're starting here. We're getting going. Our second week. This is Wednesday of our second week of our art academy. I'm going to darken in the little under wing area here. And now, look at you can put this on cardstock and make a little puppet. So whenever you're on Zoom, you can you can take your your owl and have your owl fly through. See, you just do it on a thick piece of paper, little Zoom puppets. This, this, here, we should draw a shark. You want to draw a shark later tomorrow, maybe tonight? Should we draw sharks? Look at that. Make a little puppet of sharks. Rah. So whenever next you're doing your next Zoom meeting, you guys have some paper puppets coming in. Okay. Remember, I want you guys don't stress about your drawing. It doesn't have to be perfect. Stress is on the bus. Someone type in beep, beep, beep. Someone uh, look at a look at anxious ninja on Instagram said, do you show me what being excited for your art looks like? Well, thank you. I, I just, I love, I love sharing my joy with the kids and with you, you uh, adults, my joy of visual arts license to flop. Give yourself the creative license to flop. I'm proud of you. One drawing a day. That's what we're shooting for one drawing a day. And I can't believe I got all that with the drawing in 21 minutes. I know I have the gift of gab. I'm a gabber. It's a gift or a curse, right? So shade this all down here. And uh, I think we're just about winding up this cool drawing here. But I do. I, I love taking my pencil. And let's get a little bit darker under the eyes. A little back here. Get, that, get the little darkness, the little details here, guys. The little shading, the little shading under the neck. It's really important here. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. I'll zoom this in just a little bit more. You see what I'm doing here? I'm shading under here. Isn't that a fun one, you guys? The flying owl. Here, put some action lines here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Today, during the Zoom class, we opened up the microphone, and we had all the kids... Uh, actually, Melody did my fine assistant. Melody, thank you, my assistant. Cool. She's our auntie, auntie Melody, our room monitor. She helped me make sure the text box in the room is safe. Thanks, Melody, for all your help. I always give you a shout out. And Amanda, if she's watching, I couldn't do all this without you guys. I tell you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support and help. And here we go. All right, there's our owl, guys. Thanks for joining us. This was our You Can Draw in 30 Days. La Can Draw in 30 Days live. Live at noon. Live at noon. And I, I'll, I'll make a new one tonight at 8, like a new logo. I got to think of a logo. Like this was a logo when I did this a couple years ago. Isn't that cool? All right, guys. Well, I hope you, uh, uh, I hope, I hope, I hope that you sign up for my art Academy. I hope you sign up for my draw 3d membership to, I hope, I hope, I hope you buy my book. Hope you come on tomorrow. If we can, if I have, don't, uh, if I haven't lost power to celebrate my birthday and as a gift back to you guys for watching, if you send me an email, I'll send you a free ebook. It's 199 days of drawing. It's a uh, it's a free ebook for you. It's usually worth two hundred dollars. Okay, it's worth like fifteen dollars, but we'll send it to you for free. Send me a, an email requesting it, and I'll send it to you. All right, guys. Well, thanks for drawing with me, and uh, talk to you guys at eight p.m. or tomorrow at noon. Or sign up for my art academy. Woo! Thanks, guys, for your birthday wishes. I'll see you, see you soon. Wait, wait, wait. We got some more comments here. Oh, hi, Helen. Hi, Gail. Hey, Clint. Good to see you guys. And goodbye. I'm saying goodbye on Facebook first. And I'm going to say goodbye on... I'll say goodbye on Instagram. Bye, Instagram. Thanks for drawing with me. You guys rock. And then I'll say goodbye to YouTube. Thanks, YouTube, for drawing with me. I will see you tonight at 8, or I'll see you uh, tomorrow at noon, if the weather and fate allows. Bye.